This video will be on replay attack. Session replay attack, also known as replay or replay attack, is an active intrusion attack where the attacker records and replays a victim's internet session as if they were an authorized user, thus obtaining credentials for accessing information. So how does this work? Well, all devices communicate by sending each other data packets, and to do this, you must first create a session. You do this by a process called TCP handshake. Once session is created, official connection is made with specific time limit, and a sequence number is created and given that distinguishes one session from another. Now, when this happens, an attacker can capture the ID before it expires. Usually, attacker has a sniffer tool that collects, stores, and logs all the data packets, like Wireshark. When the session ID isn't captured in URLs, it's common for servers to attach session IDs in either cookies or hidden form fields. Cookies are small files that track users' behavior across a network and store certain user data locally on the user's browser and computer. Some cookies, called session cookies, are created for specific sessions that a user spends on the network. When session IDs are embedded into cookies, the client sends the appropriate cookies as part of the every packet exchange with the server, which allows the server to identify him or her. And to steal session ID, all hacker needs to do is sniff network traffic and capture all the data and filter it to identify the session ID. Once the attacker has the session ID, they can initiate a communication and impersonate a trusted user on the network. The attacker also has appropriate authentication packets that he has sniffed and stored and sends that to the server. After this, the hacker has access to all the data that the original user would have access to, as well as all the permissions that goes with the user. In today's world, this is prevented by having timestamps, TLS SSL certificates, basically doing HTTPS, one-time passwords, and much more. You can also delete cookies and install network updates to ensure you patch up your network security holes even more.